Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Greetings, and once again, welcome to another exciting episode of Cut the Tape. I am your host, devilish, handsome, humble Rick Alvarez. This is my assistant, Mad Wing. Uh, we just got our big box of loot in from BBTS, also known as Big Bad Toy Store. Hi, Joel. And uh, let's see what Uncle Joel sent us. Uh, first, I thought we'd start with this. It's a plain white box. It's just a little white box. It's just a little white box. But inside the box is a piece of history. You see inside this little white box is another white box. It's a white box, which I assume is empty. I don't know why this white box exists. It's got Transformers branding on it. It's an, it's an empty box. It says Transformers on it. It's an empty box that says Transformers. But also inside is a certificate of authenticity. Yes, this little thing right here. See that? That is a piece of the screen used Optimus Prime vehicle. It comes in a really crappy, like Funko Pop style plastic container with a cardboard thing. It's a piece of rubber, looks like a hose that it was cut in half and then cut again. Ah. The card says, and I quote, This piece of Optimus Prime Western Star truck mode tire appeared in the Transformers live action film series. It is number 4,468 out of 5,000. Signed by Andy Johnson, brand manager of Western Star Trucks. It doesn't tell me what film. It just says it appeared in a film. And it's copyright 2006. You know what? For 20 bucks, you get, you get a story. That's all. I don't know, you know, like maybe that sits on top of it. And then, and then you put that on top. I, for 20 bucks, it's a story. It's a story that you get to tell. Hey, I've got a piece of the Optimus Prime truck. More exciting for me was when Revenge of the Fallen came out, everybody got to go to the premiere. I, being the new guy at Hasbro, had to go and set up the Smithsonian exhibit, which was cool because I got to run around the Smithsonian at night while it was shut down, and I got to donate my toys to the Smithsonian, which was on my bucket list. So now, in perpetuity, my Optimus Prime and Jetfire are in the Smithsonian. Whether they're on display or not, doesn't matter. They're in there, donated by me. Maddie, uh, we're gonna leave this thing for last. Why don't you pick, it, why don't you pick something else? Um, I'll pick something on this side. Okay, pick something on that side, what do we got? Oh, ho, 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 Santa Prime. We've got Santa Prime, and who, who'd you say this looked like? Grinch it's Santa. It's the Grinch Santa Prime. Um, the Optimus Prime Happy Holidays figure. He comes with a candy cane decorated blaster. And he comes with a new head. It's a head wearing a Santa hat. Why this exists, I don't know. It's a, it's a fun little item. Seems more like, hey, this would have been an internal thing we gave to employees. But no, this was a, a release to the public item. And it exists. And they paid someone to do card art for it. 
And, um, well, you know, I tend not to go for the cute stuff, but this is interesting. It's different. It's very different. It's very, very different. Okay, real quick, I'm going to show these off because I've been getting into these lately. Fig pens. Jazz, which uh, I think was an exclusive to Big Bad Toy Store, and a limited edition Starscream. Um, they're interesting. I don't know. Fig pen. Do you know what a fig pen is? I heard of it. What does a fig pen do? Does it do anything? It's a it's a pen that's a figure, and I don't know if it if it's like a music thing, like if you scan a QR code. I have no idea what it is. It's a metal pen based off um, based off style guide art. That's all it is. It's not even original art. It's just style guide art. And somebody made a pen, and there's a whole bunch of them for like. A, in different lines. Uh, what else we got? Oh, over here. Okay, so we got some blasters. Yeah, we got some blasters. Maddie said it was a gun. I told you these are not guns. These are, in fact, blasters. These are blasters for Fortress Maximus and Grand Maximus. Ooh, very nice. It's, it's the proper size. You know what we're missing now. I mean, we got, because the toy is red. So, I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's even got a five millimeter peg, so you can put it with your Optimus or Bumblebee. It's got five millimeter pegs here. And I think that's, that may be one there. It's a screw hole, but it might be double. And um, yeah, that's, You know, we, na we now need the gun with the uh, two, two blasters on it. So, um, so we'll put this away and we'll put that with our toys downstairs. All right, Maddie. Oh, sub subscribe to Maddie's YouTube channel. So um, it's Princess Maddie. Uh, all right, and please excuse my mom who's talking in the background too. She doesn't know how technology works. So, um, what is it? What is it now? What's your YouTube channel? Maddie's unicorns. Maddie's unicorns. Maddie's unicorns. I will not link to it in this video. All right, what else you got? Okay. Um, all right, pick one of those boxes. All right, so this is something I've never seen before. Um, these are the Super 7 uh, cy Cyborg figures, right? Uh, but I've never seen them in a shipper box. I didn't know they came like this. I just thought it was, and maybe this is something new because my other ones, Soundwave and Optimus Megatron, they didn't come like this. So this is a shipper case for the box inside we're gonna cut tape and you ready to see who's inside it's apropos that we should be opening this figure oh so it comes in a bag so it seems like it's good all sorts of protection so there we are. There is Bumblebee, clear Bumblebee. Wait, that's I, Bumblebee. That's Bumblebee, but he's clear. That looks I, like him. It, it looks exactly like him, but it's clear. All right, I know what Bumblebee looks like. It says it on here, Bumblebee. Right. So that's what Bumblebee looks like. It's clear so that you could see the inside. Oh, and here is a nice cool tease for who's coming. I bet you it's Thundercracker. Yeah, it says height unknown. Yeah, I bet you it's Thundercracker. Uh, so these, the chest pops off, reveals all the mechanics inside, as you can see here. This is the clear version. I don't know if the painted version is out already. I assume it is, because the mold is right here. All right, Maddie, 
No, we just we just did one of those. Get something else. We, they don't need to see all the Super 7 cyborg things we got. That's interesting. All right, so this is interesting. I wasn't expecting this to come in this box, all right? So, I don't know what the SS stands for. Maybe so, stupid? <laughs> stupid Selecto one. Uh, this is the premium finish. I I don't know what I was expecting. I thought I, I'd get like a brown box. I thought I'd get a Takara box. It's a black box. It's a black box, much like you get from the Pulse. Ooh, this is very nice on the inside. Look at that. That's very nice. That, that looks like it's a masterpiece box, but for deluxe, and because it's deluxe, it doesn't weigh anything. You just handed it to me. So it's a premium finished Bumblebee. Um, just from looking at the box, I can't tell the difference between this and the standard release. I'm sure there's a million deco hits on this, tampos, all sorts of stuff. Um, it's got PF on here, not for PF con, but for premium finish. And it says premium finish up top. Um, interesting. All right, I think we're, we're not gonna open open this. I think we're gonna save that for a compare and contrast. So we'll do that in the next in the next video. Yeah, let's take a look at that one. Let's see who that one is, because that's the one I, I really want to open. Not the greatest figure in the world by a long shot, but one of my favorite characters. It's Optimus Prime. Premium finish Optimus Prime. It has cracks in his windshield. They painted in cracks in his windshield and they painted on rust. Or battle damage, it's battle damage. It looks like, you know, it's battle damage around the joints and the legs, the parts that are commonly used when you're fighting Decepticons. He comes with that less than stellar ax instead of the cannon. You know what? This one, more so than the Bumblebee, I can tell just, you know, wow, what a difference, right? What an absolute difference. I like this one more than the Bumblebee. Yeah. Because the Bumblebee, it's nothing like that. Well, that one's from the movie. This, this is it. This is it. This is the premium finish. Bumblebee looks like he doesn't even have don't don't worry about the face. That's that's a common issue with the Bayformers. Um, you know the colors on. You know what's what's getting me about this? It's the blue. It's the blue gray. That blue gray right there. That is the same blue gray on the head and legs as that generations chug two pack. Optimus and Megatron. The Optimus came with a Tommy gun, and Megatron was a tank. And he was green, and then Megatron had like the spinning arm thing. That's what this looks like. That is the color of the blue. It is not a deep blue. I can tell you, it looks nothing like the blue on the package. This is. I mean, even the the battle damage is different. That looks like gray, and that looks more blue. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, the axe looks better, you know, with the gray. Um, really shall we free him from his plastic? I mean, we opened him this far. Let's just let's just take him all the way out. And you know what? With this one, I mean. It, even if we scratch them, I think it'll add character to it because it's a battle damage thing. Um, all right, let's see here. It turns into that, yeah. 
Um, joints are really tight right off the bat. Joints are super tight. Wow, really, really tight. Oh, I forgot this thing has no matrix in it. But that's okay because it's the prequel. It's before he had the Why matrix. Does the glass look green? The glass looks green because someone thought that would be cool, but they were wrong. They were wrong. The glass should not be green. Optimus should not be green ever in perpetuity. Um, it's the same green. It's this. It's the same green. This is a, this is a Santa figure. This is a premium finish figure, and he's got green. The color of the green. Look, it's it's green plastic. It's the Matrix. It's the Matrix. Look at that. Look at that in the light. Boom. The color it's of the, the Matrix. Green looks and like a lettuce smoothie with sparkles. Yeah, you know. At least they got the color of the eyes right. It is, it, they are very light blue. I would have accepted um, the yellow eyes. Um, maybe not the red eyes, but it is, yeah. Feel the joints on that, Maddie. Super tight. Super, super tight. So it being winter is another reason we're not downstairs in the toy room. Good job on the axe. I mean, yeah, you can say it's a premium finish, but no. Uh, see, Optimus's blaster. This is a blaster, not a gun. It always goes in the right hand. You'll give it a ten out of seven. Yeah. Well, Maddie gives it a ten out of seven, which is a, it's a Rekgar number. It's like saying six out of five moms agree. Um, uh, I mean, just for it being tight, it gets a lot of points. The packaging gets a lot of points. You lost me with the blue and you lost me with the green. The axe is a win. And you'd think there'd be like some deco hits on the blaster, you know, something like you know, residual spray from it firing. But no, uh, there is not. To me, it looks a little bit plain. The well, you know what? If you think it looks plain, then you can compare it to the one that came out at retail. Retail means it came out in the store. And you will see that the retail one is much plainer than that. All right, Maddie, do you know who Grimlock is? Hand me the Grimlock. Let's see if you know who Grimlock is. Yeah, it's that really fragile thing that you dropped. There it is. Ooh, been waiting to get one of these. I had a little bit of money left over, and I finally got one. I finally got one. I, the, all right, go get the pig man. We got a pig man too. I mean, it's not related to Transformers. So, I mean, you'd think for, okay. Here's the thing. This is ceramic. This is a ceramic tiki mug. Thank you. This is a ceramic tiki mug. You know, you're not really supposed to, I, I guess you could use it. I wouldn't recommend using it. It's more of a decorative, decorative piece. I would not put it in your dishwasher. It's loose in the box. There is no additional cardboard to hold it. And it just comes in a very, you know, this is a very used, plastic bubble wrap bag and the texture of this it's it's almost sandy like it's like it's a rough three print from like like 2010 you ever handle like a one of the original 3d prints that was available to like people like us that's I mean I like the design I mean, I, again, I don't go for the cute things. This is a very cutie thing. Um, but 
I, um, I happened to find those other mugs, those other tiki glasses, the ones that went on clearance. And I thought, well, this is porcelain, but let me grab it. I, I'm happy it's here in one piece. You know, the box is, is very nice, not even taped up, but the box, it's, you know, it's nice. Brimlock ceramic tiki mug. Um, hoping they don't do more. All right, this is this is the pig man. This is the pig. This is the pig man. Is that lettuce? Uh, yes, it's electric lettuce, and he comes with a fork and knife as his weapons. Yes, yes, it's a pig man, and I don't collect Power Rangers, um, but I thought pig man was really cool. And I thought he had to live with my He-Man figures. I want to keep it. No. All right, one last thing before we get to the coup de gras. Um, oh, yeah, hand me that. Uh, we have a G2-inspired figure here. PS13R Impetus. Uh, the name is blocked. Imp Impetus Regenesis Interrogation from Ocular Max OX. Uh, Maddie said she couldn't read this when it came out of the box. It says Perfection Series. I thought it was kanji. She said it was sloppy, and I thought that was. I said it was messy. It was messy. It was messy. And I just thought it was kanji, and only now am I realizing that it's not kanji, it's actually. Okay, let's take a look at this, at this guy. All right, right off the bat, super points, lots of points. You know why? Because it's got that red strip. It's got that red G1 decoder in it. Maximum points for that, maximum points. Oof. You know, it's, it's masterpiece scale. It's really tight. You know, this is this is gonna be great when it's in Bruticus mode because this will be able to hold stuff like other other figures. Super, super tight. Super tight. Um, this is great. This is great. I uh, didn't do the Ocular Max for the G1 colored Bruticus. I did the other guys. So this is my first time going with Ocular Max, but I love G2. And man, I'm happy with this. I'm really happy. I'm excited for that one. Comes with his little propellers here. Look how cute that is. Little propellers. And he's got his his little arm cannons and his blasters. And this is this is all around. This is this is an all around win. It's it's a little tall in the torso area, but that's no, those are not butterflies. It's camo because in the 90s, uh, the, the military thought, what better way to hide a blue helicopter than with purple camo? So. All right, almost last. Uh, we have a G1 Grimlock Icon Heroes letter opener it's the sword it's like masterpiece scale and it's all chrome so if you have like the desire to have a diaclone inspired chrome grimlock sword with your masterpiece figure this is the sword for you uh it says silver edition i don't know if there is a flat edition this is the only edition i ever saw Sometimes you gotta shake, shake the thing to get it out. Oh, okay. I mean, nope. No, you cannot. Letter opener. I mean, you almost need, you need like a letter opener for your letter opener. 
Oh, because it's foam. It's a foam. I hate, I hate foam because it just sticks to everything. And now I'm not even going to bother. It says convention exclusive. I don't know. I mean, I saw this on clearance at Big Bad Toy Stores. I don't know where this was a convention exclusive to. It says silver edition. What year was this? 2001. I don't know. I don't know. I can barely remember. I mean, it's just, you know, everything's 2020. All right, we're going to end with the big dog. Ugh, a lot heavier than I thought. A lot heavier than I thought. All right. We have our black Zarek. All right, I know you're very excited. You're very excited. All right, here, take this. Here, come over on this side. You're gonna take the knife. That's the sharp part. So you're gonna hold it down here. All right, you gotta push this up right there. You're gonna take this and cut that tape. Yay! Now it's not sealed anymore. It's open. And we're gonna open this and voila. Look at that big, beautiful purple instructions. We can we can print purple instructions, but we can't print them in color. This is so big. It's so big. It's so big. Oh look, there it is. It's a lot heavier than Scorpion. Like a lot heavier than Scorpion. Um, I, really like I know. I tell you what. You know what? There's so much going on in here, and we're already past the 20 minute mark. Um, I think we're going to leave him sleeping in his coffin until we get the add-on kits. And then we're going to take him out, put the add-on kits on, and we'll... No? All right. Okay. We're just going to take him out. Yeah. We're just going to take him out. So he's held together with twine. It's bigger than a baby. It is bigger than a baby. If your mother had given birth to you and you were the size, um, I'd be a widower. It is much bigger than a baby. I feel bad for a woman who has to push a baby this size out. Maybe I can hold a baby like that size when a baby cousin is gonna be that size. Oh! Oh! Wow! Super tight joints. I love. Oh! Wow! Super tight joints. Hang on! Hang on! Super tight joints. Super tight. I love it. Much tighter than Scorponok. Scorponok falls over a lot. Ooh, I like it. I just, I need to, I need to open this. I need to, I need for this to swing down. Ooh, heavy, right? There's a, that's, it's, it's a ramp. That's okay. You can call it a window. That's a, a wheel. Wait, are you gonna turn it into a car? It, it, sure, yeah, it turns into a car, only the car looks like a scorpion. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. All right, so, we got all these parts here. I didn't know it came in little parts like this, but that's very wise, very wise. Very wise. It is a spear. And that looks like the thing that the turkey you dropped shooting at the shooting at the like the thing that the turkey is shooting at. I I, that I, takes. I, I I don't know what that oh yes, I drew a space turkey at Jake's. Um like we are missing a piece of the spear. So We have one more section to go. 
and how nice. That's how the head, that's how the head is packed. Is that a head yet? And there's, we, we may be in trouble, Maddie. Because we're missing two of these parts. And that's why we open it on film. So no one can say we're cheating them. I wonder if anyone else is missing parts. So we're missing two spear parts. Let's look here. Look in here. No. 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 Alright. That's the instructions. Let's back up and take a look at the box. Oh, Maybe. we found them. By we, I mean me. Now, I kind of miss the days of styrofoam. I understand why we don't have styrofoam anymore, but at the same time, how many trees had to die for this? Oh, those are much bigger than I anticipated. Okay. Look at that. It's like the Disney sign. Din, din. You're watching Disney Channel. Boom, boom, boom. It doesn't look like that. It looks exactly like that. Look how big this is. Oop. <laughs> that looks like it hurt. Uh, and... He goes, yarg! Yay! And this, way we can't wait to replace this with a third party add on kit. And little Zarek, which is cool because it's got an eye patch. Yeah. All right, if you lose that, you will have an eye patch. All right, so there it goes. Um, you know, one thing I will say about this is um, there's a lot of paint caked on this head. There is a lot of paint caked on this head. Yikes. This has like super scratching potential. Is this its baby's toy? That's, that's, that's right. It had a baby and that's the baby. No, the baby's toy. The, like, if this was his baby and this would be his toy. That's, like, that's, that's right. Toy. That is, that is his baby. Okay. And, and he, he has a toy. But then the head turns into another baby, and then the baby becomes the other baby's head. Oof, ooh, ooh. Little loosey goosey there. Little loosey goosey leg. Then this loosey -goosey. is not the baby anymore. They abandoned Casey. That's right, and it's now, not. It's... And now Maddie is living in the house now, and Maddie's the only child now. That's right, Maddie's an only child now. In the wood with her pancakes. Right, she's in the woods with her pancakes. <laughs> wow. Okay, well, thank you for watching Cut the Tape. Uh, thank you, Maddie, for helping me. Um, subscribe to, was it Prin Maddie Unicorn? No, you're Pr Princess Maddie Unicorn Tape. Uh, and no, um, number two, wash your hands. Uh, stay clean, register to vote, and um, do not yeah. subscribe to Casey's YouTube channel. Don't subscribe to Casey's YouTube. Don't subscribe to my other daughters because they're minors, and that, that would be weird if you did. Um, we'll see you next time on Cut the Tape. Oh.